Hi guys, I got a Sprint Evo 4G rooted with damage control 3.2.3. Has the live wallpaper fix. Um, this is the first boot up, so it might seem a little slow, so bear with me. So, it looks pretty standard right here. Um, has cool cloud effects, live wallpapers. Okay, this is the first boot up, so it already went through the initialization phase. Everything is working pretty smooth. So far, so good. Everything is there. And let's go to the app menu. Here, it's uh, there are a lot of nifty little features like deconfig, damage control configuration, DC updater, damage control updater. So whenever there's a new ROM out, all you got to do is just click that. And it'll get take you to, to the damage control uh, application where it will show you if there's any updates available. And it just takes a while to load up. All you know, gotta do is click on check now and it'll happen. Let's go to the app menu again. Facebook is all there. I mean all the sprint bloatware is taking out taken out. Uh, all I see is there is NASCAR sprint thing. Quick boot is an amazing application. It'll just allow you to boot into recovery, boot into fast boot mode easily without doing it. So I guess there is some sprint stuff, but that's pretty the cool sprint stuff actually. And then that other bloatware. Wireless tether is here. All you gotta do is click on that. Close. Donate to Whoever made this application, if you do love this application, all you gotta do is press to start tethering. Super user allow. And it'll start tethering. Okay. Just wait for it. Okay. Now, in my hand, I have an HD2 right here. It also has a custom ROM. You probably, if you saw my other video, you probably have seen it already. Let's go. And right here you see Android Tether, right there, Android Tether, bars are amazing, if you connect to it, it'll have a very fast connection, so let's try my Blackberry as well, just to show you that it does connect, let's see, I haven't really configured this, but yeah, I mean, Blackberry is complicated. Anyways, just click it to stop tethering. Click allow. Super user permissions are always going to pop up, but always click allow. ROM is running very smoothly. Let's run through a few. Let's go to settings. It's pretty very standard. Um, what this one, what this ROM has, it's called applications to SD. Pretty much all your apps will be saved to your SD card. Yeah. And as you can see, it's running very smoothly. Music. Let's use that. This is the standard Android music tab. There's nothing in there right now because it's fresh boot up. Let's go to the internet. And right now, 3G is enabled, but you can turn on 4G right now. Just go to the home menu settings wireless wireless and networks turn on 4G right there you can set your 4G things right there and let's see what else is there to show live wallpapers let's go to them I guess we can just go to the grass one just set it there click on home just watch it wave you know, I don't know how wall, live wallpapers work I haven't really messed with them yet just set that and it's running very smoothly market is there I haven't really signed into the marketplace at the moment yet so 
it's a little sensitive but th nothing's wrong with that it's bearable you can always import your contacts right here just click on menu uh, right here here import export your contacts right there and right now it's a very smooth ROM nothing to complain about everything works Wi-Fi works 4G works it has the latest Wemax 4G update so it'll get you where you need to go and all your sprint stuff is right here I guess it all works widgets right there all you gotta do is click widget hundreds of widgets or it's a lot of widgets though compared to normal Android and that is pretty much damage controls Evo update, I guess. HTC Sense.